my name is Kara Hagen, and I'm currently an assistant professor of dance studies at Appalachian State University. Um, as a professional artist, I'm actually an interdisciplinary artist, so I use many different types of performative art to create the things that I create, from dance to theater, music, and just basically anything that I need to to say what I need to say on stage. While it is small, I would say the dance community is mighty, right? So um, as I've been an adult dance artist here, of course I went to the School of the Arts and I was from out of state. I'm actually from New York originally and um, have spent many summers in New York City, lived in New York City for a while. And what I really love about being a dance artist in North Carolina is that people are really welcoming. And I find that it's easy to surround yourself with people who want to have a dance community, who want to be a part of something that they're passionate and that they care about, and that there's room for everyone, which I really love. The first year that I did the festival was 2006 or 2007. I mean, it was several years ago now, and I had recently graduated from the University of North Carolina School of the Arts, and I went up to New York and had decided that what I wanted wasn't there. And I was like, well, where am I going to go? Where do I go? Do I just stay here? Do I just hang out you know, in New York because my family is here? Or do I go back to North Carolina and see what's there? Because I, I didn't have a car while I was in college, so I like barely got off campus. And I had no idea what was around. And so when I got my letter to be a part of the touring roster, I was so excited because I said, oh, this is my chance to meet all the other dance artists in the community. And this is a chance for me to meet audience members. And this is a chance for me to give classes to students I've never met before. And it was a really lovely introduction to the North Carolina dance community. So when I first got the video, I was unsure of how I was going to interpret this duet, the original duet, into something that could be uh, on film. And so eventually I settled on the idea of using space as a metaphor for time. So I got four students from the North Carolina School of the Arts, and we started in the studio, but very quickly we needed to go outside because we needed more space. And literally this dance takes place over five blocks in Winston-Salem. And, um, and that's kind of how I tackled this idea of life and times and growing along with somebody and all the peripheral things that happen as you're creating and forging a creative relationship together. It's interesting in the studio when we first started crafting the movement, I took some cues from the original movement, but I didn't want it to look like the original movement. So it got changed and the dancers had input into the movement and it, like clay, just got molded and we came up with what we came up with. Whatever form it takes, I hope that it continues to support the artists that are here in the state. I mean, certainly the NCDF is a unique entity, and it's been one of the reasons why a lot of dancers have continued to stay, because they know that there is this vehicle to show and make work whether it be through the touring roster, whether it be through the school, just having space to be able to rent, I mean, it's huge. And so there are a lot of things about the, the dance project in general that are really good for the soul of this dance community. And I'm excited to see all the things that are going to happen from here on forward.